Hi, yesterday Final Cut for the iPad has been launched. We did a live streaming of about four hours. So many of you have joined. Thank you so much for that. Now, many people had access to Final Cut in advance. I did not. So there are a lot of interesting videos that you should watch, including the one from Ripple Training for their training, and it's for free. But on this video, I want to concentrate a little bit on workflow. I like when my life is a little bit easier. I like to prepare a timeline that I can use like a cookie cutter uh, for at least for the YouTube video. So I'm going to show you how you can get that on your iPad. But not only that, bring in your own motion templates. Okay, so let's take a look. The very first thing that we need to do is go into the iPad and create a new project. This project I will call template YouTube. And the format is just the timeline here. I'm going to put the timeline in STR in 4K, 30 frames a second, and then I will choose to start blank. Okay, after I have that, I will export this project. Click on export and choose save to files. And I will save to the root folder here of my uh, iPad. I will replace, I already had one there. Now I will go into the root and we'll get this template for YouTube and I will share via AirDrop to my MacBook Pro. Now on the MacBook Pro, I have received here on my downloads folder. I will bring to a separate folder here so I can work from it. I will right click on it go in show package contents and then navigate through the folders here until I find a Final Cut Pro 10 library. That's very interesting, right? So the very first thing here that I want to do is just to open it on Final Cut and there it is open. Now for me to get my template, I will get from a library that I already use as a template. And in that library, I have here some media. I will copy that media over by dragging and dropping. And then on this dialog here, I will keep checked original media and copy media stored in external locations. So it can be copied inside the library that will go back to the iPad. Now I have here a project called template. I will bring this over with also the same dialog and the same options here uh, selected. Now I will delete that timeline one that I already had that. And here on my template, I will first of all get rid of all the motion templates that I already have used here. That's going to be very important. And on the settings for my library here, uh, let me get rid of my YouTube one. On the settings for this library, I will go into modify settings and then motion content in library and then click OK. Now, I will choose which ones are the ones that I want to use here. Uh, you could potentially uh, create a new timeline called motion. And let me put this timeline here into a 4K, 25 frames a second, and bring in everything that you want in that, uh, in that template. So I'm going to just bring in all of this. Okay. And now I can actually go back to the other timeline and I actually add what I what it is that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this intro here at about 414 is where I want my video to come in. And this will be just this duration. I want to have my end card here all the way in the end. Uh, this was also uh, created by Rodrigo, my friend. Uh, you can find his socials there on the screen. And this was created for the NAB show, uh, but I don't think we're gonna use for the NAB stuff here, of course. Drop zones will not work on the iPad, so keep aware of that. Um, there will not be possible to, uh, to use drop zones. And I guess now I have it all. I will make this just five minutes long. Oh, actually it was already shorter. So let me do this just one minute long. Okay, now I have a nice timeline here that is kind of ready to be used as a template. Now, one last thing that I will do, just to be sure, I will come here to uh, the settings for my library and click on consolidate on motion content. Now I can close this. Now just to verify what we've done, I will go into this library. So I will right click on it, go to show package contents, and inside motion templates, you should have titles and you should have the ones that you used 
on uh, on that timeline that we put everything there, okay? Okay, so with all of that done, go back, find the project that uh, you just modified and zip it. After zipping it, now this one has uh, two gigabytes because it has a lot of uh, uh, pre-rendered videos on those motion templates. So it's gonna take uh, a minute or so here. So after that, we're gonna send this back to the iPad and we're gonna unzip it, okay? And every time that we tap on that project on files, Final Cut will import as a new project, okay? So now you have a de facto template that you can use and always start from the same place on your iPad. Not only that, that template will have the motion templates that you added here. So you can play a little bit with that. Not all motion templates are gonna work, not all the features are gonna work, but you're gonna have that. So now here on the computer, I'm going to share this via AirDrop to my iPad and then just give it another moment for it to receive. Now, once the iPad receives uh, the, the whole file, is gonna ask what you wanna do with it. You're gonna just choose files and then you're gonna choose a folder for, for that file and save. I'm gonna replace because it already existed in that folder. Now, on that folder, there is this old one here that existed before. So I will just click on that zip file. It will unzip and it will unzip very quickly. And now this is your template file that you're gonna be using to create a new projects on Final Cut already with that timeline, okay? So here we go, we're gonna tap on it. It will open Final Cut. And Final Cut here now, I already had this template YouTube before. So this is now the one that I just opened and I can rename it. I will call this motion templates on the iPad. And this is my template. I will click on edit. Hey, and look at that. I have my timeline that I created on Final Cut for the Mac working here on the iPad. And I have all of those animations that came in from motion templates. And if I go here uh, under titles, I can scroll down and find all of those right here. Now they have an exclamation mark, not always that has happened to me, but they still work. I can still bring that in into my, uh, into my timeline here and they appear. There is the little bug here that stays in the bottom. And I hope this has been useful for you. There is a lot of things to discover still, but I like to concentrate on workflows. So this is the first video of many to come. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. <laughs> see ya.